yeah. Oh my goodness. There we go. Finally, finally. What? What are you? Oh, whatever this is, is big. Oh. Hi guys, uh, it's snowing, yep, we're snow now, um, and I'm here at Collins Bay again, uh, here to torture myself another time, but this time I've got my Garmin uh, Striker 4 portable fish finder that I'm going to use for the first time. Um, I'll be honest, I'm a little nervous to be on the water when it's uh, kind of this temperature, I've never been kayaking this late into the season. So we'll see how that goes. I'm nice and bundled up. I'm good. Um, yeah, so let's get the boat ready. Check it out. So this is my transducer. If you watched my uh, my unboxing video of this, this is the transducer with the suction cup mount it came with. That's great, and it works really well, except on my kayak. As you can see, push it in, and it pops right out. My solution is this. Duct tape. That looks pretty ghetto. And I'm not even sure that's gonna be low enough. I think that's gonna be sitting in the water. Like, I'm pretty sure that's low enough to be, be in the water, what, especially when I'm sitting in the kayak. It's pretty straight. I think I'm gonna put an extra strip of duct tape on there just to make sure, because it's pretty cold, but duct tape's pretty solid, so, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Take that little plastic strip off the bottom. But I'm gonna put another another couple pieces of duct tape on there. Try and keep this thing as secure as possible. Not worried about losing the transducer if it falls because I've got this nice long cable. It's pretty pretty durable. Let's put a little more duct tape on there. This thing has a fancy little cloth I can use. Oh, look at that. Do, 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 do. I heard a beep. I might have overdressed. Let's just uh, let's just start with traditional. See how this thing is reading. I'm in like six inches of water right now, so let's. Uh... Okay, so I just needed to hit some, uh, cool. Six feet, damn. Oh man, that looks so cool. I am so freaking stoked to have this thing. You guys have no idea how much I've wanted one of these. I don't know why, like, I just, you know, people fished for years and years and years before the advent of sonars came out and, you know, people had them on everything. But it's just, look at the clarity. This is a dual beam, uh, 200 kilohertz on my chirp, so. Well, eight feet here. I didn't know it was this deep right here at the, at the ramp. All the times I've come here to fish, Look at that, there's fish right there. Holy moly. There are some fish underneath me right now. So my strategy now is, typically when I come out of my kayak, I just kind of paddle around and blindly throw, throw at stuff. But 
I mean, oh man, look at that. Oh, that's, there's something there. Waypoint. Oh, thanks. I just want to make a waypoint. Let's go try and find some fish. Oh, there's a big fish right there. There's a big fish right there. So far, I'm really happy with this Garmin fish finder. It's really cool. Oh, I'm marking fish on my 200 kilohertz beam right now. I gotta get back to gotta get back to fishing. So far, I'm really really happy with it though. I think it's it's really changed the way I've fished, and this is only the first time I've ever used it. Um, I've been at this now for an hour and 10 minutes, and still haven't caught any fish, but I've seen lots. So I, at least I know they're there. Now I just have to figure out how to get them as opposed to just blindly casting around not even knowing how deep the water is below me so uh you know i'm really really excited to have this for the foreseeable future i just had to find a better way to mount it to my boat you know but that's the way it goes bag here. Oh, thank God it was closed. First things first. Oh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I'm gonna try a tube. You know. What doesn't like a nice tube? Well, I hope it wasn't important. I don't know if this is uh, tube is even going to be big enough to kind of do a nice, interesting little Texas rig here. Not exactly how you'd rig a tube, but whatever. I'll try it. Looks like any other tube in the water. Well, I'm still fishing. Innovating. Innovating new ways to cast old baits. You know. Hunting for them limestone lunkers. yourself show yourself come to oh my god 
Oh my God, what the heck is that? Oh my sweet Jesus, look at this walleye. Oh my God, oh my God. Holy sh**, holy sh**. Oh my God, oh my God. It's too big to even get in my net. Okie dokie. All right, let's just put the net away. Come here, buddy. Come here, come here. Holy sh**. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm shaking. This is, this is the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. Oh my God. Holy, woo. Worth it, worth it, worth it. Oh my God, look at this. Walleye! Oh, I'm shaking. I'm so. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I can't even. I don't even know how I would. Oh, I have to get this thing back in the water. It's so big. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. I don't even know how I would take a picture of this fish. I've never caught a fish like this. Just for length, it is like almost the length of my foot. Holy sh! Let's just see. What does that say? 28 inches. Oh my God, I can't even. I have to try and get a picture of this thing before I put it in the water. I just have to. I got time. I can take a picture of it. Don't worry, buddy. You're going to go back soon. <sighs> Photo. Oh, my God. Please don't flop out of the water. Out of the water. I don't have a bump board, but here we go. <sighs> I have to make sure. I have to make sure that he's uh, all set to go. Yep, you're good. You're good. You're good. No, nope, you're not good. Go swim away. Swim away, Mr. Walleye. Holy sh! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was unreal. I wish, I hope, I hope that I captured the essence of how big that fish was. Oh my god, I gotta call my wife. I gotta let her know. I gotta take a drink of water. I gotta just calm down here because I'm like shaking. That was that was unreal. That was unreal. <sighs> there she is. I right, just gonna talk to her. Hello, honey. Caught a fish? I just caught the biggest walleye I have ever seen in my life. Oh, wow. oh. Yeah, I got it on the video. Don't worry. I'm just, I, it's just, it was so big I didn't even know how to handle it. I'm like, it wouldn't, was too big to fit in my net. Uh, I, I had no way to, I had, to, I've never handled a walleye that big before. So I'm just kind of like coming down from the nerves a little bit here because it's been, I'm just like shaking. It was so crazy. So, yeah, well, I mean, kind of, yeah. Okay, I gotta go. Yeah, I'm getting ready to come back now. I'm not gonna top that. It's the only fish I caught, and it's like, I, I don't need to catch any more fish today. I don't have a big boner. I'm still recording on my GoPro. God, that was so crazy. <laughs> So this is, man, what a great day on the water. I almost didn't come out today, but look at it now. Look at, look at Collins Bay. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I wish I had more time, but you know, reality has to, uh, 
reality has to be dealt with sometimes too. So that's it. That's my boat. I just wanted to show you the uh, show you the duct tape. The duct tape held up pretty good. Kept the transducer in place. It all worked out. Um, I lost my net. All right, let's just put the net away. Oh well, it was a pretty inexpensive net. It was a cheap one. But holy man, that was a big walleye made the whole day worth it thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe thanks a lot I'll see you guys in the next one